Hello again, I'm Forrest Kelly, live on the red carpet in Hollywood for Mueller's Shave Bar. And fired up, Sean and Nick are the stars of the Gerald R. Ford High School football team and are dreading the prospect of another summer at football camp. When Nick hatches a scheme for the two to join their school's cheerleaders at cheer camp instead, they find themselves awash in a sea of gorgeous young women. It all goes great until Sean falls for Carly, the beautiful head cheerleader who sees right through them. It's the premiere of Fired Up. It looks funny. <laughs> Look at the poster. <laughs> F you, Fired Up. <laughs> Are you Fired Up? I'm Fired Up, yes. F you. Hi, this is Sarah Omar from the movie Fired Up. Tell me about that being discovered in a 7-Eleven buying coffee. Uh, well, that was being discovered for modeling. Um, I was 15 before school in the morning. The owner of a mother, my mother agency, um, hey man, he was ready to go surfing, wasn't scouting, and stopped me, ripped off a piece of paper, said, give it to your mother, and that turned out. And then I was getting coffee in LA, and that's how I started acting. Hi, what squad are you on? Diora, I believe that's Italiano for beautiful princess. No. Well, it should be. I'm calling the dictionary people. What squad are you on? The Tigers, Gerald R. Ford High. Below average president, above average student body. So, uh, what are you doing later? Not you. <laughs> what about accents? You like Aussies? Do you want to wear more of it? Well, if we're going to be completely honest, um, and we're talking about 11 o'clock at night, next to me, you just saw Margot Harshman. And right, uh, uh, right about last night at 11 o'clock, uh, we were at a pool hall in Hollywood, and uh, I was taking her to school, taking her to the cleaners. No, is it? Because we're on in Australia. Was that an Australian accent? I don't know, mate. I mean, if you think it's <laughs> worthy enough to be called an Australian accent, then definitely. If not, then I, I recommend that you cut this from the segment. Is that you on the poster? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, but I was blonde in that one. Yeah, I'm, but I'm blonde. I, I actually, Eric uh, and I assumed each other's uh, identities after the film. My knees are buckling up. This is new Look, it was difficult for me. It cost lots of money. Uh, and in, in fact, actually, we're taking donations. Uh, <laughs> it was a terrible mistake. I'm sorry. Would, would you like to give an 800 number or a website we can go to? Uh, I think it's just help, help, help. It's 800 help, help, help. Was there at any point in this kind of a movie where you were uncomfortable? Yeah, when I first read it. <laughs> I played Gwyneth. And you are one the of the good or bad? Bad girl. I'm the Panthers. That's no problem, though, is it? <laughs> oh, well, you know, it's a stretch. <laughs> no, I had a good time with it. <laughs> Not a cheerleader, actually. Just a cute girl at the mall Ooh. who gets picked up on. You've and got no I bring problem with that one. She can pull that off. I've seen her do it. Yeah, she can pull that off. Are you fired up? You know what? I am fired up. I am fired up. F you! Fired up! F you! Fired up! I am fired up to be here tonight! F you! Fired up! Hi, I'm Jake Sandvik. And you play Downey in the movie Fired Up, which comes out tomorrow. Oh, that's a beautiful Sarah Romer. <laughs> you, and your voice dropped like you're doing a golf commentary. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's tough being in a you know presence of a woman that gorgeous and talented. Yeah, like you got any problem? Your girlfriend's just as pretty. Truth. Yeah. Truth. Well, I um I knew 15 years ago that I was going to take this role, so I did two years of cheerleading just to be able to be in this moment right now. So, yeah, it was a lot. So you survived? You didn't get any groin pulls or anything? I survived. He gave me a concussion. Um, but besides that, I survived, yes. There's going to be 300 girls up there who want it just as much as we do. Who want it just as much as we do. Screw football. Let's go cheer. Don't it show! I think our bus crashed and we're in heaven. Now. What have you? Smell. You're at university now. Fire up, university! Welcome to cheer camp! She's such a fox. What are you doing later? Not you. Damn it! The guys who never thought they could fall for anyone. Where are you going, bro? Carly and I are going to work on a reverse cartwheels. I'm having trouble with my rotation. It's like, ah! You like her! I knew it! You're going to ruin everything! Ow! We'll have to take their game. Guys, this is my boyfriend. What's up, guys? I'm Dr. Rick. Really? to a whole new level. He's pre at Illinois. Then why do you call yourself doctor? Why put off the inevitable? <laughs> Who's that? The Panthers. <sighs> you guys came back. We're a different team this year, Gwyneth. See you on the cheer field. It's that big chunk of grass you come in last on every year. Panthers out. 
What do the Panthers have that you don't have? Laser hair removal. Kick-ass cheer. Confidence. Let's do this. I want to cut the blonde one. What? I'm just saying. I haven't felt this way before. I gotta tell her. I really like... Carly Davidson! What's up, Dick? It's Rick. Dr. Rick. I keep doing that. You just look like such a dick to me. Uh, we were too busy ogling uh, the ladies. We couldn't, we couldn't, very low brain function capabilities. Um, I, uh, you know, it was beautiful. I mean, and man, it was, you know, it's, uh, I mean, cannot complain about going to work every day. Uh, first of all, free breakfast. I mean, come on, who doesn't love free breakfast? And then, um, and then, and then women after breakfast. I mean, and then after lunch. Sometimes you'd have dinner, they'd even be there after dinner. Woo! I'm not kidding you. It's you it blew get a new agent. my mind. <laughs> so I'm excited for a few different scenes. Um, yeah, one has to do with the naked boys. <laughs> so, I mean, who isn't? <laughs> I wish that wasn't me in the new cheer, but that's uh, that's all me. How do you rehearse for something like that? Uh, a copious amount, because if you mess up in the new cheer, you don't drop a human, you drop a ball. You know what I mean? Oh, I mean, great. Uh, I don't know is the is the right adjective to describe that. I would say potentially. Uh, it'll be frightening. Uh, but maybe just nude. It will be a nude. It will be more nude. It will be nudely. It will be a nudely nudeness. See you guys. Wear it close. What do you two think you're doing? <laughs> Practicing. Al dente. <laughs> Proceed. Hey, tigers! Yeah! Dude! <laughs> I like it. I, I don't know. You know what? I think there actually are some really great outtakes uh, from that because, you know, there was Eric is hopping around. I'm trying to, you know, base him. I mean, it's a very awkward situation. What do you mean you're trying to base him? Well, I mean, that's cheerleader lingo. I mean, I don't Yeah, you don't dropped wanna... that on me and it went right away. Yeah, well, you got to basically you create a very solid foundation. This is getting very dirty. And in certain contexts, I don't think it works quite as well. I think I'm going to just pass this one up. I play the head coach of the cheerleading camp that everybody goes to. And um, I'm a very odd character. It's a bit of a screw loose type guy. <laughs> it's um, in my specialty. I, I didn't know at the time that they actually wanted me to to do some cheerleading, which at my age is, is uh, un unadvisable. Would be a, a very mild word for it. Are you fired up? You're at university now. Fire up, university! I was the very first male cheerleader ever to compete at the nationals. Get some air! Get some air! Get some air! Get some air! I couldn't walk for like six days after I did that. So scene. how high? How high can you kick? Pretty high. Go get me over your head? Yeah, over my head. Uh, that's sheer desperate. I'm 46 years old. Yeah. Yeah. You could pull a severe groin. I did. Yeah, You're my my groin is very severe at this moment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm still recovering. I shot this movie a year ago. So what are you gonna do to ne next? Uh, you gonna do like a lifetime? The other leg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I play Poppy, and that is Sean's younger sister, and she's like this little businesswoman who's like wisecracking, and she says all sorts of stuff that I'm not allowed to say in real life. And she like goes behind the scenes of cheer camp and se and sells people different candy and everything and. She's quite the character. And my mom, she's pretty overprotective when it comes to what I'm allowed to see and everything. But when she read the script, she was actually cracking up. She said, all right, you do this role, but you never say these things until you're like married. The only time you and my brother come to see me is when you need something. What? Skin mags. Another ride to the clinic? Poppy. No. No, we just want to go to that cheerleading camp you're going to. Just thought that maybe you could get us up to speed. You guys have been through every girl at your school, and you're looking for some fresh produce. Okay, seriously, how old are you? It was really interesting playing this kind of role because I would never be allowed to say half the things I think, say in this movie. And so when I read the script, I was like, what does this even mean? You know, so... Well, if you like laughing, you should see Fired Up because it's a very funny movie, especially with everything that's going on in the world right now. I think it's a great time for good laughs. Well, Thank you know, you, that's very kind of you. Ladies and gentlemen, fired up February 20th. I hope you enjoyed it. It's an absolute cracking ride. In it, I play Brewster, a flamboyant gay male cheerleader. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Forrest Kelly, live in Hollywood on the red carpet for Fired Up.